pop star Shakira and billionaire Bill Gates passed through these gates. Back then, it was run down. But rehabilitation of the Buffalo Range International Airport in Chiredzi District, southeast of Zimbabwe, is expected to enable smooth flow of air traffic, opening up business opportunities for the district. A group of volunteers from Chiredzi's Ward 29 worked with the District Development Fund, DDF, to refurbish the airport. Minister of State in the President's Office, in charge of implementation and monitoring, Joram Gumbo, visited the airport and left a happy man. You know, under a National Development Strategy 1, you know, um, one of the um, areas is that, uh, you know, uh, the infrastructure section, the utilities are critical, particularly as we look at, uh, you know, um, the middle income society by the year 2030. So the rehabilitation of this uh, international airport is, is, is critical uh, because it will bring in people uh, who will visit uh, at least the three um, areas that really converge here on the South African side, uh, the Mozambican side, and also the Zimbabwean side. And that brings in a lot of people uh, um, it, into the country uh, as tourists, and also that brings in a lot of employment for our people. So um, I, I'm happy uh, about the progress that I see you know, taking place here. Um, it looks like uh, uh, after the, the rehabilitation, we can expect to see uh, from the brief that I got quite a number of uh, planes landing here. The airport's runway now has the capacity to hold aircraft up to the size of a Boeing 737-700 executive series. Its runway is now 1,578 meters long and 30 meters wide. We are doing the shoulders, which are uh, about plus or minus 1,800 meters by 7 meters each side. And there is also a stop a stop area uh, which is 60 meters long by 44 meters wide, uh, which we already have rehabilitated. To date, we have done one of the shoulders to completion. We are now working on a, a, on sealing crocodile tails on the runway and start sealing the other shoulder. The airport is the gateway to the low veld, which has numerous tourist attractions, such as Marilangwe, Bubiana, and Save Valley. It also provides access to the Great Limpopo Transfrontier Park, which brings together some of the richest and most established wildlife areas in the Sadak region. These are Konerejo in Zimbabwe, Mozambique's Limpopo National Park, and Kruger National Park in South Africa. The airport also provides access to green fuels at Chisumbanje and the giant Tokwe Mukosi Dam. The uh, actually... A plus to Civil Aviation Authority of Zimbabwe and the airports company, the newly formed airports company of Zimbabwe as well, uh, because uh, those works, uh, they've actually been uh, on the cards for, for quite some time. And the coming uh, on board of DDF has actually made a life a lot easier because the runway it almost surpassed its lifespan. This airport was commissioned in 1965 and the lifespan for most of these runways were actually 50 years. And in 2015, um, the, that, that was the, actually the 50th uh, anniversary for this airport. It has all marked the, the lifespan of the, of the runway. And uh, thereafter, we have we, been experiencing now some, some lots of cracks, some crocodile cracks on the main runway and, and even on the apron and on the taxways. So this uh, rehabilitation works will actually uh, help in, in uh, resurfacing the, the runway works. 
and as such, uh, it makes actually the lendings uh, a lot smoother than uh, what they were at the moment. So it's actually a, ve a very well a welcome de development to our airport. And we hope it will attract even more traffic into our airport as well. Marasa Gutukunua, Mashingo DDF Provincial Coordinator, says the runway had developed crocodile cracks. He added that they were also working with a private contractor, Bitumen World. They are the, the runway, the taxiway, and the apron areas have all had the crocodile tails, I mean cracks. And because of that, there was need for major rehabilitation works to be carried out. out. So we were asked to carry out the rehabilitation works, uh, initially starting from the runway area. <laughs> 